what's good everybody so I'm showing you the wonders of uh, Pennsylvania we are at nine mile run do not leave valuables in your car please call 911 to report suspicious behavior and post it no hunting somebody put Dewey beer Dale's pale ale so this is the entrance to the trail it's a nine mile trail deer creek trail you can either go left or you can go no you have to go straight across this boardwalk so what i'm hoping is that the boardwalk is not weak i've been on this trail before but it's been a while um there's a creek too off to the right or the left of me and you can't fish in it. If you can, it might be farther down. So I'm gonna just show you how beautiful this boardwalk is. You gotta see this boardwalk as well whenever it's dry. Now right now it's damp because it's morning and it has moisture on it. And uh, an actual beautiful way to see this is in the fall, not the summer, not the spring, the fall, because the leaves are beautiful. All right, see that? Yep, this is a little dock right here. Walked a little bit, didn't we? So we're gonna walk a little bit more. I'm not gonna do the whole nine miles. I don't have time for the nine miles. I do love this boardwalk. I don't remember it being this long, but I, I think I remember these little docks, little deck you could stand out on, like an out deck. So when you walk on, you got the first one up about 40 to 50 yards, and then you have another one up another 20 to 30 yards. So that's what they look like from the side if you was walking around down there in the mud. All right. A little bit of wilderness, a wilderness challenge. There's more of that water. Oh, you can actually see, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna get muddy, but when the weather's dry, you can actually go down these steps or you would actually have to do it when you have your, um, when you have on your outdoor gear you would go down there because then if you got new shoes on, you don't want to mess up your shoes. All right. Those are the steps you can go down. That was a guy that just ran past me. He was jogging. All right. Some more of that creek. Yep. And we have another turn off to the left. Another deck. This one stretches out farther. Um, on a spring day, you can see the um, you can see the birds and the squirrels and the, what other animals is down here. All right, there's a trail there, but it's blocked off. See that? You can go down under here if you wanted to. I don't recommend it. But this is actually beautiful whenever it is sunny out, not too humid. And another awesome way to see this is whenever the fall is here, like I said, because all the leaves are um, all the leaves are off the trees. Now, right here, wow, you all see this bird. I finally got a nature bird. You see him moving? I don't know what kind of bird that is. I was going to say a stork or a pelican, but that ain't a pelican. I don't know what that is. But you see them, and I hate when people litter. Look at the bird. See them moving? Down in the comments, y'all tell me what kind of bird this is. Not only that, this is one of the reasons why you don't want to litter in your national um, parks. Look at this bird. He like, what is you looking at? He ain't sneaking off, that's just how he walks. And he's a great fisherman, by the way. I think that's what he's doing. 
he or she, they might be fishing the bird. Told y'all I'm going to get y'all something different every day, I promise. I wonder how big of a fish can he um, munch on. I'm pretty sure right after he catches the first one, like he hit him with his beak, the fish is done for, he paralyzed, and he could just take his time and eat it in little pieces. I've never seen a bird that thin before. All right, y'all, I don't want to bore y'all with this bird, but let's get a close-up on him. I don't got my good camera with me. This is my phone here. And we're off. And right here, um, this water goes under this tunnel. I don't recommend nobody walking around in that tunnel because that tunnel of water, that goes all the way down there. And it probably runs to a huge storm drain. So now that bird is watching me, but he don't have to do that because I'm not going to bother him. So what we'll do, I'll show you it says, oh, see what that say? I shouldn't even have showed y'all that. So it's combined sewer overflow. So if it's ever like a flood or something, the water will flow like under here. And then it would go like out towards the river. So right there you have that bird. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's a bird. And he might be catching fish. That's what he might be doing, catching fish. Yep, that's what he's doing. Right here we got nine mile trail, nine mile run. And this trail runs all the way down, people, all the way down. And y'all probably wonder why I turned around and filmed that person running because I didn't know who that was that ran behind me because my back was turned and I just heard footprints coming. But this actually looked like I just got hit with water in the face right up here. But down there, that road looks like a um, looks like an old car road. But I promise you that um, that that sewer runoff runs not sewer runoff, but. That creek runs under here, overflow. Let me show y'all something. I should go around and show y'all this creek. Come on. Let me show y'all anyway. I don't want to get my shoes muddy. But we're going to take a little walk, just a little walk. Um, I challenge everybody that does post content show me a little bit of your nature environment one of the things we got here in pa is some beautiful waters and look at that that layout of them rocks imagine when this is like overflow with flood water it actually looks pretty amazing and people y'all whether y'all believe it or not not certain parts of these waters you can swim in not where you saw that sign at. I, I do not recommend that. It takes common sense to know that. Let's walk around here real quick. It would have been nice to show y'all some fish. We could walk up to these double stones, these couple stones, and then we'll head back. Because actually I'm still at work. I'm just showing y'all nature and this path. And a tip for you people out there that do like to vlog and make videos. Try not to have the camera on you if you're doing like a, a building investigation or you exploring the ruins of an old building. People want to see what you're talking about. It's okay to let them see your face, but try to get more of what you're showing them. All right, here you go right here. Look at this. You, this is a nice place to take pictures, people. Absolutely. Let me know if y'all got beautiful waters like this here. Um, when it comes to snakes, we have like water moccasins, black snakes, garden snakes, copperheads, and rattlesnakes up in the mountains of Pennsylvania. So up in like the Laurel Highlands, we do have rattlesnakes, but you rarely see them. All right, that says wetland area. 
I don't know if it says restricted or not, but you can actually walk across these rocks to cross the river. So they did this so you could cross over, but I think that says do not enter. Yeah, that's wet land. So you don't want to go over there, probably get saturated with water and you might fall in a sinkhole. Yep, but this is the water. Sometimes you can see fish in here, but right now you can't, even though it's clear. And sometimes fish be in plain sight and you just don't see them. So let me let you see this water. All right, let's head back. But before we head back, let me show y'all this. I just now spotted this. Somebody painted on this tree. All right, everybody, so what I'm gonna do is head through here and I'm gonna head on back. Uh, I wanna watch my step. It's kinda muddy. Don't wanna ruin my day. Definitely don't. So this is my little adventure for y'all. It's been 11 minutes and it is time to head back. We are gonna have to explore this soon. So let's head on back. I'm gonna show y'all this little thing. I'm not gonna take y'all the whole way back because you already seen what it's like coming. And I do have on my workout gear, which is my sweatpants and my beater tennis shoes. They're not beat, they're just a little on the dusty side. I guess that's beat, right? There you go, I don't know what that is. You could chain a bike or something up to that. And I'm walking on this stone old road, which they turned into a trail. I'm sure cars, Cars used to go through this like years ago, but I wouldn't know that unless you dug up the history and we're not in the doing of the history digging. But once again, like I said, I am still at work and I just thought I would show y'all just a little bit of the natures that lies in Pennsylvania. Always be aware of your surroundings. As you can see somebody back there walking, I don't trust them. See them walking. Yeah, y'all see him right there. But I'm going to head on and do what I got to do. Nine mile run. I'm not going to run, but I'm going to get it going. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Stay blessed. And whatever you um, do throughout your day, just make sure you do something positive. Something positive, energetic, and get off the couch, breathe, live a little, laugh, and love. It don't get no better than that, y'all. Oh, it's a tunnel down there. We got to see that one day. We'll figure out how to get to that. It's right over there, way back here in the corner. Love y'all. I'm out of here.